Every project has an awkward phase, when everywhere you look, things just aren't quite right. Proportions are off, spaces are too small, too large, too much circulation. And I've done this enough to know that that too will pass, but it's always just a little bit painful working through it. For me, the awkward phase begins after the initial concepts have taken root and when we start jumping up in scale. And that naturally requires a little bit more precision and a little bit more detail. And it's here that you have to commit all those beautiful, fat lines of a sketch into real materials, shingles, window frames. Making it real forces you to make it better, to clarify your ideas, and it's real work for all of us. We all sit at the same table and we all contribute ideas. Some good, some not so good. Exterior spiral staircases going off the east side of that deck. And soon, the awkward becomes elegant. Locating the screen porch is a really important part of this exercise. I left it out in the first round of plans, so I needed to find a home for it in this second round. So I came up with four possible locations that didn't obstruct the view from the main living areas, but they were also nearby and easily accessible, which is what we discussed in our last meeting. But there's something else that's shaping this decision too. And this is a stage of the project where we're all getting excited. The plans and elevations are taking shape, starting to feel like a real home. And we have some pricing feedback that confirms we're on budget but I'm always thinking about the budget. If we design the screen porch as a separate structure, whether we keep it nearby or locate it remotely, we can always build it later if we need to trim the budget for any reason. If we make it an integral part of the main structure and tie it into all the framing and all the interior and exterior finishes, that becomes much harder to do. As you're arriving to this site, you can't help but notice the view. One of the things that you have to resist, I think, in the design process, especially when you're there visiting it with the client, is to just say, everything is about the view. So I really wanted to have this discussion about diversity and destinations and the idea that this site is more than just the view. That's yeah. why we think the screen and porch <laughs> might be over here. Over we've, there? Oh. We've been talking about that more recently. Okay. We wouldn't want to be sitting back in the woods necessarily because even when we go up there, we always want to go. <laughs> but see what Eric did? He's removed these trees. Well, we know we're so removing So you could those. get, you can get, get a, a view. get a view, you mean a real view. But she's right. The, the house will block your view to the northeast. You get a straight view to the east. That's nice. And you probably get more of a view to the southeast. There's a diversity to this site that I think this plan really takes advantage of that I think a standard house plan doesn't. And, and you guys have really invested in that. And I, I think that's a really good thing. And it's one of the reasons why when I see the screen porch there, I think, yeah, it's not out in the view. Like, that's a killer view. Um, but I, to me, I think you have that view here. And so oh, wow. this is about being in this space and experiencing this space. And you know, how can this feel like a, a place that of refuge yes. and closing and still capture the view? And so to me, that's what I look for in this plan is, is to ways to um, enhance that diversity of experience and, and really oh, like yeah. if we can use that as an ordering system for making decisions. Mm -hmm. It gives you also a, step, a different destination as it were yes. and that gives you something, kind of a sense of excitement. You're going to another destination, uh, close as it is still, but yeah. you, you are. You're more in the woods here, you're a little away from the ocean. It'll be quieter, you won't hear, hear the waves out here so much, but it's that's really kind of nice. That. My clients had one other spot they wanted to explore too, just to the northeast of the master bedroom. <laughs> you like this one. You love this one. I do, I do. We're gonna get less sun over here. You'll be in the shadow of the building, yeah. yeah. Well, sure. but we're gonna go proud of the building, so you'll get you'll get morning or mid-morning sun, but then you're right. Yeah. And then late and then afternoon it's gone. sun. And how do you feel about it, its relationship to the the master? here like because you're kind of under the building in a way true enough partially under i, I don't want to be over here now you're looking at some of the structural elements yeah. in the house which is not that's not appealing. the most attractive it, does, it doesn't seem your eyes are like the right thing i don't still feel like yeah all right what do you think we're going south oh man green porch oh my god i feel like i'm twisting arms here no, it's not, not. I, no no you know what all. you said you are really not <laughs> Okay. So it made the differences here. Yeah, yeah I don't want to be there concern. and look up underneath the boughs of the house. That helped him to get a sense of what it was really about. Like. With this decision behind us, we moved on to discuss the site plan, the driveway, footpaths, and the approach. And we touched on the preliminary elevation designs, but it became clear that before taking the elevations too much further, the master bedroom wing 
really needed some redesign. Yeah, so you kind of duck in this way and then the, the toilet and tub, you know, I was struggling with how to fit the toilet and the tub. I like the here. other way better. Where you have the, you can enter here or you can, it's oh more, no, it's just, yeah, you direct. enter privately. Plus the bedroom is, you come out of the bedroom and then you go in. This one you just go in. So you like that transition space then? I do. Yep. Plus, plus if people come to our bathroom, <laughs> they don't have to go into our bedroom. That's true. The other yeah. way, if, so if you're sleeping or something, no. you just go right in and just okay. be quiet or something. Yeah. I love heading out to the site to meet and that's usually a really productive place to make decisions. But most of my clients, they live pretty far away, so we can't always meet face to face. So instead of sending PDFs and writing a really long email to explain them, I find it's just easier to record a screencast using Loom to present what I'm working on, and then we follow it up with a Skype to discuss their feedback. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, okay. As we reviewed the updated plans for the master suite, a few new concerns emerged. I, I wish somehow we had the, with the storages now on that top in the north wall. I wish it was on the other side somehow. And I'm wishing though it could be separate from the bedroom. Oh, okay. And that's maybe crazy. She wants you to redesign the house, Sarah. No, I don't. I'm but happy the to thing redesign is... it. <laughs> <laughs> Not the whole house, but this area. For sure. Well, the thing is, like, we have a nice setup now that's it's not the best, but it works really well where we have our laundry with our own laundry, I mean, our own closet space, and it's all um, consolidated. And, and I'm not asking for that. I know we've there's no way, I guess. But I wondered, though, if it were on the other side and you came in, but still the bedroom, you could close the door, and it was just the bed space. And it feels more like it would function better because of what we talk about, how we have different schedules sometime. And we, anyway, we, we realized that we'd have to add more space to the house footing and no, square, square footage. Maybe not. I learned this lesson uh, in my own home. <laughs> adding, a couple, adding a couple of feet to change the function of a space, I mean, this is the cheapest it's ever gonna be. Is this, do you think, too much storage? Um, to store, like no, it's not too much. <laughs> it's not enough, but it's I can enough. live with it. We, both, much, can, we but... could both live with that, I think. I don't need storage in my bedroom, so to speak. Yep. Does that make sense? A whole lot of it anyway. She wants uh, a, a, a separate private space for uh, clothing that's sure. separate from, from the actual well, And it just happens area. to be closer to the whole laundry piece. All right, well, there you go, anyway, Eric. So I mean, I'm really going to take her coffee away from her, Eric. This is <laughs> no, just, thinking up that I have a... Hey, I want to hear this. This is the time I want to hear it. This is all about... This is how it is for Oh, me. yeah, now's the time. I don't need do a it. huge bathroom either, really, but I do need certain yeah. things in there. I mean, that has to work. So your depiction here that you sent us, the picture of the yeah. top shower together, was quite appealing. You like that? Uh, I like It's that. very cool. How oh, couldn't you not love it? It's, yeah, yeah, that's very cool. It's a great. Yeah, I actually think that's an image you guys saved to the Pinterest board. So, I'm, yeah, I'm not surprised. Oh, you uh, saved it. That would have been me. So, actually. see, yeah. you did it. You already know it. Well. Yeah, you no, designed no, it. I kept going. That would make more yeah. sense. And then the bathroom would change a little, which yeah. I, I find it a little boring right now. I don't like that you have to kind of go back in there to that shower whole thing. Okay. It feels kind of weird to me but the other thing is to redesign the, 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 the master bedroom and You're the master bath. You're asking me to give you input. Oh for sure yeah and I want to hear it. Well, I thought we were okay with the master bath. I, was I think it's natural for designers to feel ownership over the design and feel like this is my baby and that when someone criticizes it they're actually criticizing you but I don't view it that way at all anymore. I, I probably used to maybe earlier in my career, but hearing something like it's boring, uh, it just tells me that I haven't dug in deep enough on solving the design challenge, uh, that something's missing, that I'm not presenting my ideas clearly enough. So this discussion just generated a lot of different iterations of the plan and some really positive changes. I, I still think what you've got works really well. I, I love it. And I think with the etch glass there for the toilet, that keeps it minimal, simple, and I don't need a separate private space for the toilet. I really don't. It, okay. Don't. No, it's fine. Okay. But boring. <laughs> <laughs> so it's really difficult for people to understand plans and elevations. They're abstract drawings. Most people don't have a very well-developed three-dimensional sense, taking a floor plan drawing and turning that into three-dimensional space. So and really the onus is on us as architects and designers to present those drawings with as much information as our client needs to make that decision. And oftentimes having reference images 
Pinterest boards, things like that, can really help shape the conversation. In this particular instance, we have this reference image of a tub and a shower as a grouping, and she really latched onto that, and that really helped her to articulate, well, I don't like the, the fact that the shower is removed from the main body of the bathroom. Like That's not a positive thing for me. And that helped move the discussion forward from it's boring to can we explore something like this? Okay, so let's talk about some plan tweaks here. The least invasive thing we can do is add five feet to the length of this building to move this dressing area over here and it, turn it into its own transition zone, so a dedicated transition zone. And I'm just gonna say, this is a three foot wide aisle here, two feet of dressing cabinetry, and we're just gonna leave this bathroom the way it is. And I'd like to move the master bed to this wall and really create this north wall as a solid element. And we'll glaze this entire wall. So we maintain this really amazing aspect to the site. We're gonna move our dressing cabinetry here. Maybe this is a barn door, maybe it's a pocket door. And then our dressing cabinetry sits there. So you walk by it, to get to the bedroom. Problem with this is a couple of things. We're losing three feet of cabinetry here, and it seems kind of a shame that this dressing area is situated at the most, one of the most prominent aspects of the site, and it's just an inwardly focused space. So doesn't seem great. So let's just start by laying a grid down. Grids help you order and organize things. I don't know where this is headed yet, but I'm just gonna take a stab at it. So let's just say this soaking tub feels really nice at this corner here. Let's dedicate this zone to a toilet, and this can be an enclosure, whether that's a glass wall or not, that is to be determined. Let's locate our vanity over here, and then let's just start laying out Let's say this is dressing cabinetry here. And let's call this the shower. And this could be sliding glass partition. So this whole area is glassy, glazed. And then let's say this could also be glazed. So here's our shower, maybe recessed shower head. So we have our shower that's coming in here. We have our main door to the bathroom that's coming in here. And then this dressing cabinetry could be facing this way. And then let's just say we have another piece of dressing cabinetry here. And maybe this gets some pocket doors to either side. And then we can locate our, well, we can truncate the bedroom and locate our master bed here with some side tables really solid north wall here. Now we can decide what we want to do with the fenestration, the windows later on. Okay, so this starts to feel a little bit more ordered. Again, it's not really addressing any connection to the laundry room. I'd probably make this a window here. Probably make this a window here. And I'd probably extend this wall to this point and pull the deck back. Okay, so you enter, you're entering to the shower. I don't know if that's quite right yet. What happens in, in the design process is you're, you're always working with the best information you have at the time. And uh, you know, as things, as new information presents itself, you start to make different decisions. And so I started looking at this circulation here. So you know, to get into this bedroom, you have to sort of do that. What if we just made this whole wing that wide? So it starts to nest into this flat roof area here and the circulation becomes comes along here and then we put the dressing area right here. So now this is bathroom and this is the master bedroom. So by adding just a little bit of square footage, that makes this whole area a lot more efficient. So now you can use this as the set, 
dedicated dressing space, the circulation is more direct. And then what we can do is start tying these two together. So let's put the bath, the vanity over here. Could be this nice trough sink long in here, double trough sink, right? And then if we go back to that reference image that we've been looking at, you know, maybe the tub sits along here. This is all glass at the corner. We put the shower right here. Maybe that's a clear glass panel. And then of course we need a place for the toilet. The toilet goes right there. Edged glass panel, edged glass panel, shower, you know, and I don't know if this is, this could be a slider in there. And then the bed for the master along with some side tables, really gets this awesome view out here. And I think this is solid wall. And we can start to play with like, okay, so we need egress out of this bedroom. A bedroom needs two means of egress and they need to be remote from each other. So if this is the entry, the egress could be over here we could establish this as this really light and bright zone, you know, and capture, just erode this corner. This, this becomes your egress window. A lot of glass looking out to the view out to here, to the islands. This could be a lot of glass looking out here. And then I think we really do like pull this deck back and this becomes a sitting deck. That's like eight feet. And so you can see how the organization starts to starts to take shape. I think this bedroom feels a lot nicer. It feels a lot more private. And this makes a great use of this circulation space. And I don't know, you know, do we put a little punched window here to bring some natural light into this space? And then over in the laundry room, maybe we, you know, what's nice is when you have a, a window that's at, you know, the end of a space, let's say it's here, this laundry space, and we locate the laundry sink here and maybe the washer and dryer next to it here. It kind of draws you into the space. A pool of natural light will draw you into the space. This pool of natural light sort of draws you along here, just like we're doing with this. That draws you into the view from the main entry. And you come into the bath and this draws you in. So this needs some work, needs some refinement. And this happens throughout the house. This, uh, this isn't specific to this master bedroom wing, but we're always refining. The other thing that I like about this scheme, as we start pulling it up the hill, you know, we move this wall westward. East is the view, the most private part of the site. This is the arrival part of the site. As we pull this up the hill, the bottom of this building is lower in your line of sight. And that was always an issue for us when we were walking, as we were approaching the main entry of the house. We didn't want to be looking sort of, you know, at the belly of the building. We wanted it to be a nice wall face here. And you could even take this, you know, well, what if you pass by the dressing room? I and mean, this could be even more private, right? This whole thing could be dressing cabinetry. Get this going like that. Shower could be here. Tub could be here. Toilet could be there. Yeah. I do like the toilet there. This whole thing could be glass. I don't know, this feels a little if you're racing to the bathroom, this feels a little far. Um, and you always have to go buy this. So this doesn't feel quite as nice to me.